Hey everyone, so welcome to my 10th lecture on the course Ordinary Differential Equation. So today we are going to see the part 2 of the topic Reduction to First Order. So this is the first method we are looking on how to find the solution of a second order differential equations. In part 1 we talked about how to find solution of a second order linear homogeneous differential equation when one solution is given to you then question is how to find another linearly independent solution and uh, we derived a formula in the last lecture if you have not seen that lecture you can see the link in the description and you can see it so today we are going to see remaining two families of differential equations where reduction of order will be used so the first one is Suppose you have a differential equation, so left hand side is a relation involving x, y dash and y double dash where x is independent variable, y is depending on x, therefore y dash and y double dash they make sense. So if you have the relation involving x, y dash and y double dash then a simple substitution, what do we do is we put y dash equal to z then this simple substitution help us to convert this second order differential equation into a first order differential equation and once it is first order you know how to solve it. The second one is a relation involving dependent variable and its derivatives. So here there is no x that means there is no independent variable. So whenever you have a differential equation involving y, y prime and y double prime then here also we can do the change of variable y dash equal to z and in this scenario this differential equation will be reduced to a differential equation involving z and y. I will take an example and once it's reduced into first order you can easily solve this differential equation. So let's see both the methods one by one. So suppose this is the example you have double derivative of y equal to x into y dash square. So as you can see this is the second order but this is a non-linear differential equation and as you can see this differential equation does not involve y the dependent variable explicitly. So what do you do you put your y dash equal to z. Once you put y dash equal to z what will be y double dash it will be z dash. And if I substitute this quantity over here, your z dash will become x into z square. Now what is z prime? It is dz upon dx. And now you take dx over here and you get this z square on the downside. Now this is nothing but your variable separable, right? So using this substitution, we got a first order differential equation. Once we had first order, we did the variable separable. And now once I have variable separable, I will simply integrate both sides. So what is the integration? After integration, this is what I get, where a is the constant of integration. Now what is my z? My z is nothing but derivative of y. So you replace your z by derivative of y. So this is what you have. And again you do the variable separable. So dy by dx, so you take dx on the right hand side. Now this is in the variable separable form. You simply integrate both sides. What is this? This is y. Minus 2 comes outside. What is 1 upon x square plus a square? It is 1 upon a tan inverse of x by a. So 1 upon a tan inverse of x by a plus another constant. So this is what the solution is for the given differential equation. It's a second order. We have two arbitrary constant. So this is the general solution for this differential equation. So whenever you have a differential equation, second order differential equation that do not involve y explicitly, you can always use this substitution to reduce it to first order and use variable separable two times you get the answer. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Let me give you one homework problem so that the things will be more clear. Okay, so if I give you say y double prime plus sin x into y prime equal to 0. Now suppose if you have this differential equation, you can uh, you try to solve this and tell me the solution in the comment section. Now let's go to the second criteria. Now the second scenario, suppose you have a differential equation that does not involve your x explicitly. Means you have a differential equation involving y, y prime and y double prime only then how to solve that kind of differential equation. So let's take this example. Well here even y is not mentioned explicitly. So you can also use our first method. So you try this solving by our first method as well. I give you one homework y prime plus y double prime plus sin x into y prime equal to 0. Take this as a second example. You do this by our previous method as well. I will do I am taking this in the second criteria. So and we should get the same answer. Okay, so what I'll do is since this does not involve x explicitly, so this falls into second criteria as well. So what you do is you put your y dash equal to z. Now here you what, what you do is you reduce this into a linear differential equation where your y will become now independent variable and your z will become the dependent variable. So what I'm saying is you take dy by dx equal to z. So if I take double again derivative on both sides, so double derivative equal to dz by dx. By chain rule I can rewrite in this way 
and this is as it is and this is nothing but my z so my y double dash is nothing but z into dz by dy now we replace this quantity over here so i get z into dz by dy equal to k into z z z will cancel both side so what do i get dz equal to dy so when i simply integrate both side i get z equal to y plus a but what is my z it is y prime plus y prime so i get y prime equal to y plus a now you replace the value of y prime which is nothing but my but what is my z my z is nothing but y prime so what do we get y prime equal to y plus a now again you can do variable separable so what you get dy upon y plus a equal to dx and now if you integrate both side you get ln of y plus a equal to x plus b or you can say b prime and when you take exponential on both side you get y plus a is equal to b into e raised to x i am calling e raised to b prime as b some another constant so your y is nothing but minus a plus b into e raised to x so this is what the solution is to the given differential equation i uh, make sure you solve this by our first method as well okay because this falls into both the category so this is how you solve a second order differential equation if it do not involve x explicitly now let me take one more example let's take one more example and then we will stop so if you have y into y double prime equal to 4 y prime square so this is a second order non linear differential equation this differential equation do not involve x explicitly so what i will use i will use y dash equal to z and i will rewrite y double dash as dz upon dy into z so now become so now my y becomes the independent variable and z becomes the dependent variable so when i substitute this over here this is what i have cancelling z this is what we get integrate and now you can do variable separable and if i integrate both side ln of z equal to 4 ln of y plus ln of c and if i remove log this is what i get z equal to ay raised to 4 now what is my z it is again y prime so again you replace z by y prime you take dy by dx again do variable separable again integrate both side you get your answer make sure to solve this so that is how you can convert some nice second order differential equation to first order so i hope the method is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you